Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching our post-game reaction show after a 25-20 loss against the Indianapolis Colts. All you got to say is, Mark Davis, your dad would have fired Josh McDaniels a long time ago. If you even love your dad even a little bit, if you care about Raiders fans even a little bit, you would fire the clown that is called Josh McDaniels. Josh McDaniels sits when he pees. Josh McDaniels is the biggest bitch I have ever seen. Raiders players don't play for him. Get that freaking clown show out of Las Vegas. Because if I'm a Raiders fan, I ain't going to games. Until you fire that clown show. That man has uh, disrespected the Raiders. He disrespects the Shield. And he disrespects everything that the Raiders stand for. Patrick Graham, you can shove it too. I just, I am so frustrated right now. You just lost to Jeff Saturday and an offensive coordinator who's never called plays in his entire life. Mark Davis, Josh McDaniels is making the Raiders the laughing stock of the NFL. How does that make you feel? If that doesn't anger you, it's okay. You made the wrong hire. You made the wrong hire. But now it's time to right the wrong. Admit that you admit that you as a man made the wrong hire. It's okay as a man. You can make the wrong hire. And if you think that the Raiders should fire Josh McDaniels, type fire right now. It's okay. As a man, you are allowed to make decisions that do not go the right way. As a woman, you are allowed to make decisions that don't go the right way. But you know how you can correct those? Is by fixing it. And the sooner you fire that fraud that they call Josh McDaniels, because that's not a man. That team has given up on that piece of shit. He's a freaking douchebag as far as I'm concerned. I hate Josh McDaniels, and I will never root for that piece of shit. Fire Josh McDaniels. The Colts win 25-20 to 20 in a game that is an absolute embarrassment. I love this team. I love Raider Nation. I love everything that the Raiders stand for. Mark, if you got even a nutsack on you, you need to fire that fraud right now. Because I'm sorry, that team does not play for that man. And they're never going to play for that guy. Look at all the free agent signings that Josh McDaniels brought in this offseason. None of those guys work. Look at all the draft picks that you brought in. Dylan Parham's the only guy that you even would play out there on the field. McDaniels has no clue what he is doing. Fire that piece of shit that you hired as a head coach. Because I'm sorry. He's the worst head coach in the NFL. He is not a man. And I would, somebody please give me the opportunity. I would be more than happy to fly out to Vegas. Put me in front of McDaniels right now. Oh my Lord, I would love to just go off on that dude. He's not even a dude. I don't even know what to call him. I literally don't even know what to call him. Is the season over? Why free at center for no? If you fire McDaniels, the season's not over. If you don't, the season is freaking over. The Colts stats versus the Raiders. Total yards, 415. Passing, 208. Rushing, 207. 6 of 11 on third down. The Colts entering today's game, 0 for 14 on third down. 0 for 14 on third down over the past few games. Penalties, whatever. But you know what? When you look about penalties from the Raiders' side... You're 10 to 74. Why? Because you're a bad coach team. Total yards, 309. Passing, 232. Rushing, 77. I don't care. This Raiders team hates McDaniels. You can't tell me anything otherwise. You can't. There's no way that you can sit up here and tell me a team that made the playoffs last season and then got better in the offseason. It's two and seven. It's laughable. You are the laughing stock of the NFL. You are spitting on your father's grave every time you don't fire McDaniels. Think about that. Your dad works so hard, Mark, to make the Raiders what they are. And over the past 20 years, and over the season now that you have, 
My dad is my best friend. I would never do anything as disrespectful as what you are doing to this Raiders organization right now. Admit that you were wrong. Admit that you were wrong and fire that clown show that you hired. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I love Raider Nation. Raider Nation deserves better. We all deserve better. Fire McDaniels. And if the Raiders do fire McDaniels tonight, I will be live for 24 straight hours. You heard it here. I will. I swear to God, I will be live here partying tonight for 24 straight hours until I can't even see straight. I don't give a shit. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications if you love the Raiders. If you love the Raiders, I'm going to try to calm down. Hit that subscribe button. Let's go to some super chats here. Josh McDaniels' visor. Rich Gannon wouldn't stand for this. Nobody would stand for this. There's not a single Raiders player out there would stand for this. You're laughing stock of the NFL. Why? Because your owner's a shit show. And Mark and Josh McDaniels is an absolute fraud as a head coach. He's a fraud as a man. I, I don't even know what to call him. I don't even know what to call him. North Bay, McNugget, got to go after this one. I mean, you can say what you want, right? People are going to say, oh, Mark, da Josh McDaniels is going to be the head coach forever. <laughs> it's the laughing stock. As long as Josh McDaniels is the head coach of this team, I wouldn't buy a single ticket. I would sell all my tickets. I would say, oh, man, I, I'm not going to swear. Not going to swear. Steve L., Fans since 1974, I don't have remembering being this embarrassed. We lost to a high school coach. Seriously, we're not a bad team. We're a bad organized underneath. I mean, you are the laughing stock of the NFL because it starts at Mark Davis, who doesn't know who the frick to hire. And then you got Josh McDaniels, who nobody wants to play for. You hear all these past players, they don't want to play for this guy. You know why? He's a little baby back bitch. He's a bitch. Josh McDaniels is the biggest fraud in all of sports right now. And I can't wait to hear his postgame presser. Because remember, the Raiders had a great week of practice. The Raiders are this, the Raiders are that. I don't care. You don't show up on Sunday. If you don't show up on Sunday, I don't give a shit. Josh McDaniels, fire, fire him now. John Borelli, he's a joke. Absolute joke. Absolute fraud show. Ryan Bass, if they don't fire Josh, we need to boycott and stop watching. Here's the issue. I won't stop watching. I won't stop doing what I do because this is how I pay my bills, man. I pay my bills going live on Sundays. And I'm always going to bring that energy for Raider Nation. And because I pay my bills this way, because I know Raider fans give all their heart, their money, their time. And there's nothing more valuable in this world than time. I will never give up on the Raiders, and I will never give up on Raider Nation. But if I was a Raiders fan, I would never go to a Legion game. I would never step foot in a Legion stadium. I would boycott the shit out of that. I don't give up. I literally don't care if there are zero Raiders fans in a Legion stadium. I would applaud it. I would applaud it until they fire that clown that they call McDaniels. Now, if you want to get Raiders tickets this season, cheers to you. If you want to bet against the Raiders this season, I encourage you to do it. You bet against the Raiders. The easiest way to make money right now. Chatsports.com slash Raiders promo code Raiders125 for 125% deposit bonus. It means if you put down 100 bucks, get $125 for free to bet with. Let's go to GGR. Fire Josh. Hire Saturday. No. The key is... If I'm, if I'm Mark Davis, I'd say, you know what? I gave John Gruden 10 years, $100 million. I go figure out a way to go get Sean Payton. Figure out a way to get Sean Payton. I'm serious. You can't keep doing this to your fan base, man. Anthony Morales, letting Matt Ryan run for 39 yards baffles me. Letting Matt Ryan run for 39 yards is laughable. Patrick Graham, you're a disgraceful defensive coordinator. Disgraceful. And I mean that. And I and I, I say that so mad because I have backed Patrick Graham for a long time. I like to hire Patrick Graham. Patrick Graham sits there on the sideline saying, look, I'll... he looks like somebody stole his dog. He looks like somebody took his toy when he was a little baby. The problem is right now the Raiders got a bunch of head coaches. You got a bunch of defensive coordinators. You got a bunch of coordinators on your staff. 
that are just a bunch of bitches. That's the easiest way to put it. Your team right now is led by a bunch of coaches that are a bunch of bitches. They are. And if you take offense to that word, I'm sorry. But that's what this coaching staff is. They are a bunch of of little babies who pout when things don't go the right way. They sit there and they go, hmm, I'm supposed to be this good. I'm supposed to do this. And if things don't go my right way, I'm going to throw a freaking temper tantrum. That's what little kids do. Hire somebody who's actually a leader of men. Hire somebody who can keep, teach our kids, who can teach our players to do something. Instead of just hiring a bunch of coaches who point the finger and say, this guy did that, that guy did that, this guy did that. I don't want to hear a coaching interview. I don't want to hear a press conference. Because all I'm going to hear is Dave Ziegler say, oh, we're so proud of our players. You're going to hear Josh McDaniel say, we had such a good work of practice this week. We're going to work on execution. You're going to hear Mick Lombardi, Patrick Graham go in the press conference and say, oh, we're doing all the right things. I don't want to hear it anymore. You're 2-7. and seven. You are a shit show of a franchise. You know why? It starts at the top. And I'm done with it. You're, you're going to get a lot of people that hate on me on social media. A lot of people are going to hate on me. And I don't care. You know why? Because I care about this team. But even more than that, I care about the fan base. Because the fan base ain't getting paid millions of dollars. Those players are getting paid a lot of money. Coaches are getting paid a lot of money. I'm done with this coaching staff. And as far as I'm concerned... I'm going to tell you right now, if you're, over, if you're under the age of 21, if you're under the age of 21, under the age of 18, turn off the show right now. Because Josh McDaniels, fuck you. Patrick Graham, fuck you. Mark Davis, if you don't fire Josh McDaniels, fuck you too. Jennifer, why do I love this team? You love this team because we're the best damn fans in all sports. Because of the passion that we bring. That's why. And I will forever love this team. Because of the fan base that we have. We have the greatest damn fan base in all sports. I mean, I mean that. I give up so much family time. I give up so much time with my friends. Chugs gives up a lot of time with his friends, his family. I give up so much time for this fan base. You know why? Because I love every single one of y'all watching the show. I love every single one of y'all in the chat right now. You know why? Because we are a fan base that cares about this team. We are a family. And I will ride or die with all y'all. And I mean that. I will stay here for 24 straight hours if the Raiders fire McDaniels. But you know what? I don't give a shit about McDaniels. I don't give a shit about Patrick Graham. Mark Davis, as far as I'm concerned, you are the biggest joking. <laughs> Just leave the Raiders. Go be the owner of the Aces. That's how I feel. The tight end open on the last play. I mean, Derek wasn't great tonight. He wasn't. He missed a lot of open throws. He did. Missed a lot of open throws tonight. I'm not really going to sit here and pick apart this and that. If you're, if you're a coaching staff, oh, Alexander, thank you, freaking God. If you're a coaching staff and you stand for what happened tonight, it's an, it's an embarrassment to coaching, man. Let's go to Tony. If you Any way you can put Alexander Galvin up on the show, I'd appreciate that. GBB tomorrow, they're a trash show. I hear you, bro. Alexander, family Mitch, you're my brother in silver and black. Alexander, I stand with you. I stand with every single one of y'all. We deserve better. And I want every person that watched the show tonight to spam, we deserve better. Because you know what? We do. If this was just a one-year problem, so in, like... I, but this is a Raiders team that got better in the offseason. And you hired a clown show. You hired a full-time clown show to go out there on Sunday. I hope nobody goes to another Raiders game this entire season. I'm not shitting you. If I was a Raiders fan and I had tickets, I'd sell them. Sell them to somebody. Give them away. I'm not going. The amount of money it costs for hotels, food, drinks, go to the game laughing stock. I am going to laugh at you if you go to those Raiders games. Raiders games are about creating memories. You're not creating any memories. You're not. I remember all the games I went to with my dad, my grandpa, my aunts, my uncles. I don't remember any games that the Raiders lost. I remember the celebrations and everything we did when the Raiders won. I remember everything that happened in games that we won. Do not go to Raiders games anymore. Alexander, though, I owe you a bang. 
Alexander from Jeremy Chugs and I. Bang! You're going to get that bang. If you haven't subscribed to the Raiders Report yet, wait until my live sh wait until my show tomorrow. My overreaction show tomorrow. If you thought this was bad, <laughs> wait until tomorrow. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications, and I promise you this. I will give you 110% more effort than that clown Josh McDaniels has ever given anybody. And I mean ever. I swear to you. On my life, I swear to you. Hit that subscribe button. F Josh McDaniels. Thank you.